Well, let's get to today's Daily Dish. Now, I'm even looking at this going, Whoa. just imagine the look on your friends' faces when they serve <laughs> up this uh, chicken. It's a fully cooked chicken yes. riding a motorcycle. That is awesome. And he's wearing sunglasses. Now, talk about a cool rider. Uh, if you want to you <laughs> get one of these beer stand chicken affairs, you can go to uh, recipe at cortabelle.com. Or you could just make your chicken you on your a, a beer can. Have Absolutely. you ever done that? Uh, yes, I've seen people do that. I've never done I've that. Done I've done it. I've seen I've people done do it. that before. Kind of fun. Is it really? Mm -hmm. Beer it works chicken. works out really well. Beer chicken. Well, I do know that uh, biker chicken looks pretty fun, though. That's that's the thing about that. You know, I, I am not. What cost? I, it's been, I would bet, 20 mind. years since I've actually cut a chicken. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, I don't anyway. Yeah. Yeah. I well, you know, my friend Evan the Butcher. He takes care of that fresh market. He takes care of all that for me, yes. <laughs> my mom said, Ron, always buy fryers when I'm going out of my own. Yes, you know? my mother said always the Always buy thing. fryers. They're a lot cheaper. Just cut it yourself. Smaller, I tried that smaller pieces. a couple of times. I thought, no, I don't think I'll let somebody else cut it, and I'll just eat the... Well, I tried to do it one time because home ec, and then you I don't know, think nobody has that. Well, and you couldn't recognize any piece. No, I mean, I'd me, hack the poor me. thing to death. I mean, you couldn't... What is this? That's not, I don't know. I'm just fried. It'll be okay. So that was the end. I was traumatized. Well, yeah, so it I'll still tastes the same, whether it's cut the same or not, pretty much, right? I don't, I don't know. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe not. Well, from the silly beer can chicken motorcycle thing, mm. uh, you can make your house smell like Star Wars, Ron. And just in time for May 4th, and, which is Star Wars Day. Right, exactly, and I think that's what they're celebrating. Right. The company called Homesick, but that's hilarious by itself, yeah, really. is releasing a line of candles that smell like the sands of Tatooine, or How the forest of Endor, really? or, hey, hang with me, and it's going to get worse. <laughs> okay. The Chambers of the Death Star. That cannot smell good. That, <laughs> that can't be good. And a Grogu, Grogu air freshener. Okay. I'm worried. Not sure what they're going to smell like. The collection launches, of course, for Star Wars Day. May 4th. May okay. the 4th be with you. Candles are $44 each and the air fresheners <laughs> are 12. What? $44 for a candle? Are you kidding me? But, I mean, we, um, were, we were discussing, uh, or I was over I here. I want to burn it. It's, it's too expensive. What? Audrey thinks that the, the sands of Tatooine might smell like fresh desert and indoor could be wait, forest, wait, 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 wait. but the inside the Death Star. Inside the Death Star cannot good smell good. There are people in there. I, are, are there fresh sands in the desert? Do we smell fresh sand? I don't know. I don't know, but I mean, at least to, it's something you could think about rather than the inside the Death Star. You know, I've been to one desert in my life. It was, which basically Nevada is a giant desert. If, yes. If you ever been yes. there. Yes, yes. Like, I'm driving through Nevada. We stop in Winnemucca, like the old Johnny Cash song, when you're going to Winnemucca, Mac, with me, you can ride. I'm in Winnemucca, and there was nothing fresh about the smell of that sand, and oh, there was right. next to nothing there. It was like a deserted area. Um, but hey, the if you like that smell. Deserted area, <laughs> desert, deserted, there's probably a reason that it's deserted, hey, right? It's, you know the name, a lot of ghost towns in Nevada. Well, we're just going silly today. Even a wild animal can show how easy it is to cross the street safely. Okay. This is a black bear spotted in downtown area of Asheville, be worried. Yeah. Uh, it, it apparently knows the rules of the road. It bear, oh, the bear looks both ways and then crosses in the crosswalk. Well, there you go. Well, bless his little heart, he was wearing uh, one of those trackers and they did get him back to the woods, but can you imagine? This is Asheville, North Carolina. Hey, this is not. This is a law abiding black bear. I know. Why are so we grateful. taking him back to the woods? He's just minding his own business. Crossing at the crosswalk, which a lot of people in bigger cities do not do, I've noticed. Uh, <laughs> but no, this, and he just gets up in his tree. He's happy in his tree. But that would be a bit of a shock if you're on your way to work, yeah, it you would, know, it would, actually. looking down at your cell phone and then suddenly <laughs> I, go, oh, but I black say bear this, though, in the crosswalk. I'd much ra and I don't know why, but I'd much rather see a black bear crossing than, a, a, than an alligator, like a 30-foot alligator crossing. What do well, you think? Well, me too. <laughs> <laughs> but I can outrun an alligator. Uh, yeah, I can not run a bear. I don't know. Alligators can run pretty fast. You know that old joke, I, the only thing I have okay, to do is outrun you. you. <laughs> <laughs> Leave you for the bear. I'll make sure I'm not hanging out with Angie with her gators around. That's exactly like that. right. <laughs>